What kind of hooks do you think we need? I want blue. Blue hooks? Well, I don't think they have blue hooks, but I'm thinking maybe these. Do you think these will work? It's a blue fish. Yeah, we'll catch a blue fish with those, I bet. Yeah. Where, are the, where are the worms at? Let's go find the worms. I think I found the worms. Got the worms. We found them. What kind do you think we should get? Um, they have blue ones. Blue ones? Yep, blue ones. They got yellow worms. Yep, you're right. They got red worms. They got a lot of type of worms here. Purple worms. Purple worms. All right, so we do have garlic scented night crawlers. They got colored and scented night crawlers. Red juicy worms. But since this is an old school challenge, we're just gonna do probably one of the normal. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yellow worms. Not nothing scented. Just regular night crawlers. Let's try that. The fish can eat the worms. Oh, fish can eat the worms? Yep. Oh. See what you got, Ray Ray. Oh, I mean shark. Shark? You're going to catch a shark? Yeah. All right. I'm going to catch a fish and I eat a blue fish. Blue fish? All right, let's go catch a blue fish. Guys, we got what we needed. All we needed was them live worms. And we're headed to the conservation park right now. I just got to put the rods back in the truck. So they said they had a really large fishing pier at this uh, conservation park. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to go there is because there's not a ton of like freshwater fishing piers around where I live. So we're gonna try that out. Even though it's a really hot day, maybe they got some fish there, let's go. All right guys, so we just got past the guard gate and I've never been here before, so I didn't know it was, it's like $2 per car to get in. Obviously not bad at all. Mo most parks are comparable or, or the same price around here, I guess. So. I saw a few good fishing spots already when I was passing the guard shack, but I'm just gonna ignore those for now. And we're gonna try to find this fishing pier that I saw on, uh, I saw it on Apple Maps. So gotta drive around this corner here and it looks like it's a really big park. So I might have trouble finding the fishing pier, but everything's labeled. It says boat ramp straight ahead. So we're gonna go to the boat ramp and then find our way from there. Here we go. This is where I was supposed to turn to start with right here and I missed it. And I think the fishing pier is off to the left side. Yeah, definitely over there. Let's do it. Right there is a bunny. Is a bunny? Where? There's a bunny. Oh, right there is a bunny. It's a bunny. It eats carrots right there. He's eating carrots right there? Yeah. Well, it's a pretty big fishing pier and nobody's here. So that means one, one or two things. Either there's no fish here or nobody knows about this pier. Or, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Plenty of alligators. Big alligator right there just stirred up the water. I don't, there might be another one under there right now. Big one right there. And then we got a big one just splashed. Where'd he go? Right there. I hope you guys, yeah, you guys can see that. There's a big, big one right there. And then there's a big one right there. <laughs> uh, where else? Where else? Where else is another one? There's one right there. Hopefully, yep, you can see that. And there's probably a ton more that we can't see under the water right here. I was about to say this is Alligator Alley, but actually the name of the road that this pier is on is Alligator Alley. So that would make sense. There's a bunch of alligators. You ready? It's a big alligator. Yeah, there is a big one. There's a bunch of big ones. All right, we got the worm on the hook, night crawler. Hook is kind of big, but I don't know what kind of fish are in here yet. So I think we're gonna throw it around these weeds right here because literally this whole area looks like a fish paradise. So hopefully that's the case. These big old alligators gotta be eating something. One eternity later. All right guys, there was literally nothing at that fishing pier. Also, I think the main factor was that it was 92 degrees out today. So obviously we didn't catch anything at the fishing pier. All I saw was literally tons of alligators, no fish. It was extremely hot. The water temp had to be super high. So I'm not gonna blame it on anything, but I'll just call that a loss at the pier. We are back in my neighborhood now, and I'm gonna head down to the pond, the one pond I know that's full of fish, catfish, bass, gar, panfish, everything in this pond down here. So I still got all my worms and try to hit up this pond and see if we can get anything out of there. The weather is cooled down quite a bit. It's probably a good 80 right now, and there's some thunderclouds out. Looks like it's about to start storming. 
Um, so that's probably good, actually. Last couple times I've been to this pond and the weather was like this, I had good luck. All right, boys, we got our worm all rigged up right there on a little gold hook. We're gonna throw them in. Saw a couple gar already once I got here, but uh, the gar here really don't seem to eat anything. I don't know what they eat. Not whatever I have. Well, I've been here 10 minutes and no fish are interested yet, but there's a big old gator that's surely interested in whatever I'm doing. No freaking way, I got a bite. I can't believe it. And there he is, all day. I don't even know what it is. It's a little tiny, oh, here comes the alligator. Here comes the baby gator. There he is right there, come on boy. Come here boy, come and get it. I hope you guys can see this little alligator. Look at this guy. Come on. Come get it, idiot. Come get it. Come get it, ugly. Oh, yeah. You sure want it, don't you? Come on, come get it, boy. You're acting all tough. You can't even jump, I bet. Ooh, yeah, he can. Yeah, he can jump. <laughs> boy, you better be careful. I got hands. I'm about to put one on you. I'm about to put one on you, boy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come and get it. Come and get it. Ooh. <laughs> He's so cute, guys. He's so cute. Anyway, his mom is definitely near here, and his mom is giant. I'm not messing with that. But we caught ourselves a fish, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Not a bad one either. Not terrible size actually if I had a bucket to keep him alive I would uh, take him back and put him in my aquarium but look how he's scarred up like a gator got him already I don't think I got him just now no that was that's, that's an old one anyways not too bad what do you want boy come here come get it watch this guys y'all ain't real y'all ain't real oh he didn't get it he didn't get it. What's up, baby boy? He's so cute, bro. He is so cute. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Oh, my goodness. His mom's about to come out of this water any moment now. I'm way too close. Woo! Get ourselves another worm. Fat, juicy boy. Come here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, this is getting fun now. We got gators trying to eat our fish and everything. Let's go for another one. There you go. Delicioso. We go oh it's a bigger one too look what is that tilapia wow guys check this out oh that's a big one too that's dinner baby boy that one ain't going back look at this first time i ever caught a blue tilapia here look at the colors on that thing very pretty We've got red blue Oh, <laughs> almost smacked me in my face. All right, guys. Yeah, this one is coming home with us. That's a pretty fish right there. Wow. Big, pretty fish. All right, guys. We caught that fish literally just in time. The uh, clouds just got dark. It got really windy and it's about to start storming. So I'm glad we got that fish when we did. Literally, that is the first tilapia I've ever caught in Florida. I've lived here for three years now first tilapia ever now the main reason for that is because i usually use like flashy lures or spinners or something like that i almost never use worms and tilapia don't really eat that type of thing they don't chase lures like that usually at least in the ponds around here so the first time i ever use live worms in these ponds i catch a big blue tilapia we got it loaded up in the truck we're headed home we're gonna cook it up for y'all right now welcome back to the kitchen guys i'm so excited I finally caught a tilapia for dinner. It's been three years, three years. 
I used to live in this neighborhood that was like a nature conservation forest and they had tons of tilapia there and I literally did not know how to catch them. I would throw my line in the water with corn or worms or whatever and they would just ignore it, they would swim away and then when I left they would just swim right back to where they were. So I gave up. I didn't want to buy like a bow and arrow for bow fishing because they're kind of expensive and probably in that area it's illegal because it's in like a real residential area you know i don't know if you can be shooting fish that close to those houses or at least the karens wouldn't like it but anyways we're back in the kitchen we got the tilapia ready to go we're going to clean this fish up and get to cooking guys i'm seriously so excited to clean this fish up i've never cleaned a tilapia before so don't roast me maybe uh drop some insights in the comments but i'm gonna go ahead and make a cut like right in this area right here all the way down and then just gonna want to run my knife along the backbone All right guys, there's one filet. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that one up a little bit in a second while I do the other side and then we'll get to cooking. That's how you know you got all the meat right there. See through. You can see through to the other side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skin these filets now. So just make a cut right here. Hold on to it with your fingers like this and then turn your knife. It's okay to leave a little bit of meat on the skin when you do this. So don't worry too much about that, but you don't really want to cut through the skin, which is not good. We'll see how I did. Oh, not that great, huh? I didn't disconnect it all the way. All right, that's good. So you see all this meat is the stuff you don't want that's attached to the skin still. This is all bloody and gross. So we'll just get rid of that. And then this is what you have left. Pretty big tilapia filet, nice one. And then we'll get rid of some of this and there'll be some bones in here too, we'll take out in just a second. So the bones I was talking about are right here and you wanna get rid of those pin bones because they are gnarly and they're sharp and you just cut on both sides of those pin bones right there. Sometimes you can rip them out a little bit like this and then cut that off and then you just want to feel and see if there's anything any bones left in there which I don't feel any it'd be nice to get some of this extra stuff off but I'm gonna leave that on I don't really care about that there it is All right, now it's cleaned up and rinsed off. Beautiful meat. And then we'll dry it off. Here to the milk. And let it soak in milk for just a moment before we put it in the mixture that I have there. All right, so we let the fish soak in this milk for a while and it got a little bit firm, that's weird. But anyways, we're gonna throw one piece in there, get the other one throw it in there very firm that's weird I, since I've never actually cooked fresh tilapia before but so anyways we just put it in here this is the lazy way of breading it just shake it around this is a uh, Old Bay cornmeal keep it simple All right, first piece going in the fryer. Nice. Second piece. Nice. All right, I think we're pretty much there.
check that out. Golden fried tilapia, and that's golden for real, baby boy. Hey guys, we're about to eat this tilapia up. I have not tasted it yet, so uh, now's the time. I'm gonna take a piece from the big one. Smells good, looks good. Yeah, it doesn't have really a fishy smell to it or anything, so. Uh, got some of that tartar sauce, a little bit of lemon is in that tartar sauce. Check that out. Hopefully y'all can see that steam coming off of there. Tastes like some good fried catfish, which is weird. I wouldn't really expect it to taste like catfish, but if you ever had catfish that was like fresh and delicious, it doesn't really have like a fishy taste to it. It just tastes like flaky, kind of soft. Tastes like better than any store-bought, you know, freshwater fish that I've had before. So that's cool. Really for my first tilapia, not bad at all. I'm gonna go outside and see if anybody else wants to taste. All right, I got some taste testers, guys. We got one non-vegetarian, we got a meat eater and a vegetarian. So we got everybody in the house. Tell the real truth, it tastes like crap, tell it's us. It's actually good. <laughs> Can I give it to her? Yeah, yeah. give it to Penny. <laughs> oh yeah. Aww. She's what not do you gonna think? complain. Out of 10. I got those little noises What's she made in the mouth. Caroline. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 Oh, she loves it. Mm. This is actually good. Delicious. She's gonna eat it all. I didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Penny okay. says uh, two thumbs up. Says so she doesn't have any thumbs. <laughs> Her breath really gonna stink now. Hi hey guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. My first tilapia ever. What are we gonna do next? I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh.